Well, in the live session today, we have our premium guest today, Mr. Yannick Mann. He's uh, one of the head coaches at Hello Padel Academy. He's from Germany and he's a great player as well, as, as well as a coach. But uh, today's lesson, we're going to see uh, the different kind of volleys and the different decisions uh, that you should play when you're at the net position. Yeah, Yannick? Yes, here we go. Yeah, vamos. Hello, paddle to everyone. Mordi, <laughs> listen, I like have a main problem yeah. by the decision making in the volley. So I don't know when to block or when to go in. I okay. don't. Like theoretical, yes. I know it. Of course you do. That's why you're coaching. Of no, I know but it. I can tell it. As a player. Yeah, I can tell it to others. I see it perfectly. Do what I say, know what I do. Yes. Yeah, that's what, <laughs> that's what we yeah. you, usually, you usually say. Yeah, this is what I really want to work on. Okay. Like the the blocking volleys, and uh, I, I need your tips to just look, you know, like give, giving me a hint where is my main problem because okay. I can't solve it. Good, good. So think about first of all, come here if you want. Yeah. Think about that, for example, you playing a shot to, to, to this player. This player is coming back and, and, and he's preparing the racket here. Where this ball goes? Hitting behind, it goes up. It goes up. Yeah. yeah. If it goes up, you can be already at least thinking that the next coming shot might come around to my forehand arm, my forehand shot. Yeah. Yeah. If, if you see that the ball is coming off the sidewall, where this ball will go? Probably cross court. Probably cross court. Yeah. And perhaps to the backhands, yeah, to your backhand. Yes. Well, because naturally this shot goes, goes there. there. Make sense? Yes. Or a lob. Less, less option, yeah. Or a lob. So there are two options. Yeah, so but even the lob is coming cross court. Exactly. So I'm, I'm like ready to play the ball. Exactly. So the thing is, that's why paddle is about experience. The more you play, the more you experience game situations that will allow you Do to be a better play. player just because you decide. It's like, if you see an accident, you're driving, you see an accident, you can avoid the accident because you just see it. Yeah. But if it happens next to you, you cannot realize, unless you train like, uh, you know, like the, the Formula One, they train many reactions. Yeah. That's how the players play. Yeah. How, that's how the players train. You know, they, they, they play in different game situations. If you see that you play a lob and you're playing this, which shot are we go? Go for, for a winner, winner or a bajada. Yeah. So what you have to be ready is for blocking. Yeah, you course. have to have the racket there because you know that the aggressive shot is coming. Then if they play a lob, okay, you go back. But you are ready for the next coming shot. And then it's depending how you read your opponents. When I play to the backhand shot of the back goal with that player, what does he usually do? And what can well, I do afterwards? Usually, what does yeah. he usually play a lobs? Okay, yeah. I play to that. When I play that shot, I will step. Exactly. I will go back once Because already. you know how to read the players. That's Sanjo. Yeah. You talk to Sanjo about the forehand shot of Lamperti, and he can tell you, well, Lamperti usually in the first set, you cannot play the lobs because, and then in the second set, because he's a little bit tired, so you can play the lob, but in parallel, because otherwise he can get, they study all the players Everything. in different game situations, yeah. in different, when they're winning, when they're losing. Are you the same player when you're winning than when you're losing? No. Are you the same player in the beginning of the match or in the warming up than in the tiebreak? No. Well, Bella is, actually, Bella is better when he's under pressure. That's the difference, and that's how they work. Yeah, he not stay, only he stays on the top of the mountain, <laughs> not, not going down. Usually. Yeah. yeah. yeah? Vamos, let's, let's go with some more shots. <laughs> what I want you to do now is to work on the defensive shots. Because usually when we're at the net, we think that, okay, we're at the net, we're attacking. Yeah. No, you can be defending at the net. Of if course. the player who you're playing against well, we plays just, a nice well, we just were talking, no, about the exactly. bandeja, uh, ba exactly. um, bajada. Exactly. Somebody plays a bajada well, from and if I, if I am a good lover, you know, I, I do good lobs, I defend nice chiquitas, you might be defending at the net. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So at some point, it's important to read which shot I can attack and which shot I cannot attack. Usually, at the net, you will be as well defending. That yeah. you are at the net position does not necessarily mean that you are attacking. Of course. It means that you are in attacking position. It's That's it. Position, yeah. If I am under pressure, I do this, then you win. Yeah, I know. Fantastic. Yeah. But doesn't mean that you will gonna win all the time. That's the mistake that usually ex tennis players or, you know, do. Yeah. You know? So that's why it takes years for tennis players or tennis coaches to master into the paddle court. Yeah. Does it make sense? Of course. Well, Yannick, now, if I play this shot, I want you to... Sorry. Attack. Okay, that was good. One step back. There. Yeah. If I play this shot, I want you to defend. The defensive shot is slow and slow. deep. Deep. Slow and deep, slow and deep. Beautiful, sand your shot. 
Yes? That the ball comes up does not necessarily mean that it's good, not good. This yeah. shot is amazing. It doesn't have to be this. No. It's too much. It's coming too much exactly. out of the wall. So low, sl slow, low, slow, low, slow. Now, if the ball is coming with just slightly more time and shorter, I need you to step back with the racket up. Yes, with the racket up, yeah. always, yeah? Let it bounce, racket up, because unlucky, uh, that, it's a good then mistake. Then I can attack again. It's a good mistake, I yeah. like it. Let it bounce, nice. I, you know why you miss this shot? Because you don't train this shot. Never. You coach them, but you don't train them. Yeah. So let it bounce again, let it bounce, let it bounce, go. Nice. It was it's fantastic. Like this. That shot was fantastic. So we got two defensive shots, Even this short. one, to volley and a step forward, yeah. and if the ball has a little bit more time, you can let it bounce. Why? Because by letting you, the, by letting the ball bounce, your shot will be better than your your volley. Itself. Giving me more time. Exactly. And, and I you play can from decide. up to down instead of down even to up. Even if I go forward, I could do this. You can even play a lob if, or chiquita again. Whatever. Yeah. Fantastic. Great. Yeah? So let's work a little bit in these two uh, volleys. Yes. Yeah. Vamos. Defend. It. Defend. Nice. Let it bounce. Hey, don't go behind before I hit the ball. Don't yeah. don't cheat me. I will not tell you which shot I'm playing. Yeah. I will not tell you which shot I play. No, don't step forward before I decide. Bah. Okay, it wasn't bad. Let it bounce. Ah, good, good decision. Volley. No, I got you. That's why he's yeah, out. Yeah, 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 exactly. It's slightly, just little difference makes a massive difference. Nah. Nice. Deeper it's like if higher. it's bouncing before, in front of the line. Hey, exactly. Why you step forward before I decide the yeah. shot? You wait. I go step back. Beautiful. Unlucky. Wait. Let it bounce. Nice. As soon as you see the ball coming, prepare. prepare. Separate your arms. Yeah. As soon as you see the ball coming, separate your arms. Separate. Different level. I need control, no power. Yeah. yeah I need this. Slowly. That's it. Exactly. Yeah. You have the time. You are the boss. In here, that shot is difficult. It's a great shot. Yeah. But this one, you can let it bounce and go for, okay, Yay. not this one, not this one. <laughs> Think about one more thing. Usually, when the ball bounces, on, you make like three mistakes at the net already. Yeah. That is telling you something. Yeah? Start measuring yeah, what is the shot you should play, let's say. Yeah, I, I do have this problem in, uh, in the game situation. Yes. Where I always want to play volley, like to keep me in the front. Instead you don't of need just... To. Just stay more in the back and let the ball come. Exactly. And if you give more space, how do you run quicker? Forward or backwards? Always forward. Forward. So give space, at, give more back <laughs> in order to run forward quicker. Yeah. If you are at the net and they play a lob, you don't run backwards quicker than forward. So make sense? Because you run quicker forward than backwards. That makes sense? So you will be able to play better bandejas by giving space enough from the net position then if you're closer to the net position, your bandeja will be weaker. Make sense? Vamos. Ready, Yannick? Yes. Now we go. I will play different shots. One blocking, one aggressive, one low, and one with bounce. Let's Ready? Go. Blocking. Nice. Aggressive. Go for it. Go. Nice. Low, low, low. No. Low, low volley. Low volley. Let it bounce. Let it bounce. Rocket up. Sorry. Let it bounce. Rocket up. Nah. Vamos again. You cannot miss the last shot. You cannot miss it. Ah, no, you cannot miss the last shot. Go. Ready again? You cannot miss the last shot because you're going to win the match. No. No, you cannot miss the last shot. Out. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You see? That's how we do the coaching, you know? The last shot like, the player plays is always a winner. You know? That's why they have to win. So they're happier, at, like everyone at Hello Padre Academy. Happy people.